Hey guys, so in this lecture we will understand what are action function predicate delegates in C-sharp. Now first we, we need to understand that what are actually these action function predicate delegates in C-sharp. So uh, to sum up, uh, action function predicate are the delegates which are predefined in .NET framework and these delegates are provided for us, the developers, to make our life more easier. Now before, before we proceed, I highly recommend you to watch my previous lectures on delegates because I will be following the same example. Uh, which we followed in uh, that delegate lecture so if you don't find that lecture i will i have al already put that uh, link in the description box of this video so let's proceed now you see the first line all the three are ready-made delegates provided by c sharp framework for making developers life easy and which i have already told you now these delegates are generic type of delegates so let's quickly jump onto our Visual Studio and see a demo and then we'll come back to these points one by one. So here's the same example what we followed in our previous lecture of delegates. To sum up, I had a class uh, called as utility which had a very simple delegate called as transformer. Okay, And then uh, I had a method which, called, which was called as transform method and which took a integer x and a transformer uh, t variable of this delegate. Okay. And then it simply invoked this delegate and returned the result to me. So why do I, why have I designed my class in such a way to plug in the functionality of my methods into uh, other methods at runtime? And this concept I have explained you in the delegates usage video. So please do watch those two videos of delegates before you proceed to this video. Okay. So then in my program class, I prompt the user to enter a number. I capture that variable, uh, capture that number into this variable, i variable, and then I invoke this uh, transform method here and pass a cuber functionality onto that method. And this is possible only via delegates. Okay. And I have explained you this concept in a detail in that video. Now, and then I write the uh, console, uh, uh, my result onto the console and call console.read okay and here are the two methods which are square and cuber so say suppose my third method is added so i will add a method here and i will pass that method here i don't need to change the framework class okay so this is the concept what i have explained on my previous video of delegates so now what do i mean by action func and predicate so first look into the func delegate okay so let's move back to our slides you see the third point, the func generic delegate can point to a method that takes up to 16 parameters and returns a value. So you see our delegate here, which was pre uh, which we defined in our previous video, it also takes a parameter and returns a value. Okay. So instead of doing all these things that I need to define my custom delegate and then I need to invoke that delegate in here, we can use directly use the func delegate, which is ready made provided to us via dotnet framework okay so let me comment out this thing so i don't need this delegate anymore and let me pass my func delegate in here so i will just say func and what it returns is a, a integer value okay so this is the return type of integer value so if you put the brackets like this you see the intellisense it says it expects a output parameter uh, out t result okay and similarly it can have these many uh, parameters passed to it okay so we'll be using the first overload of this method okay so let me say int okay so i will be returning a value and i will be passing an integer value so i will say int and int so this one is the return type and this one is the the first parameter is the input type okay so instead of using this transformer delegate i am directly using the func delegate so i have made a very simple change that is i have just comment out commented out my delegate and i am using this func delegate which was ready made okay let me try to run this application now see it asks me to enter a number let's say enter 10 it gives me 1000 so it's working as expected as it was working before okay so the reason why it gives gave me a cube was i am calling this cuber function via this transform function okay 
now say suppose i have a method which uh, does not return any value okay so let me copy this method here and let me paste it here and let me call this method as square again okay and let me change the return type it says void okay and what does it does it simply prints the output to the screen of x into x okay so what does this method does it does the same thing as it was doing just like this square methods the functions are same but instead of returning a value it's printing the result onto the screen directly it's not returning a value so the return type is void okay so in this case in this scenario my func delegate won't work okay okay if i pass this square again method here so in this way my uh, delegate won't work because the return type of square again is void and here my transform method is a integer data type return okay it has a integer data type return okay so how do we cope up with that let me comment let me first copy this method let me comment out this thing we paste it here again let me make this as void okay and let me use a action delegate here okay now action delegate return does not return any value it just performs a action so the input type of this delegate is integer data integer data type okay and here it will not return anything and i need to remove this also so i am invoking this action delegate directly okay so a single piece of code and since it will not return any value here so this is giving me error okay so since it won't return any value i need to delete this part okay so it will perform a action here so i don't want to print anything onto the screen just because my square again method is printing onto the screen here okay so the same thing we can we could have achieved with the help of a normal delegate but since we have this action delegate with us we don't need to do anything okay we can directly use this delegate let me try to run this application now it's asked me to enter a number say 20 it gives me 400 okay so it's calling this square again function okay because i have plugged my square again function in here okay so this is all about action and this is all about func let me go back to our slides so you see the final uh, the action generic delegate points to a method that takes up to 16 parameters and returns void it is defined in micro lib dot dll so this is the dll which is responsible for containing these type of delegates okay the micro lib dll and uh, action parameter uh, action uh, delegate returns a void now comes our predicate delegate so the predicate generic delegate returns true or false and takes an input parameter so how do we use predicate delegates let me show you in the same example so let me go back and say suppose i need to pass a condition so what's the uh, what's my condition i need to say that if my number is greater than 9 then only i need to square that number okay so what i will do i will make a normal method first public static bool so return type of my method is boolean okay or say uh, check okay check number is the method of boolean return type it takes a parameter of type x which is a integer data type and you just say here return true okay so i am having a check number function here which checks this number so i will be passing this check number in here okay now again there are many ways to do so but for the sake of demonstration and for making you understand what are predicate delegates i am just using this example okay so let me make another method here in my client class and let me say uh, check 
okay and what's the return type of this method it is boolean okay now to this boolean method i can pass my predicate delegate okay so the predicate input is uh, a integer variable but the return type is always true or false okay now i can say here a condition so i will just say if x is smaller than 10 return false okay and if x is less than 10 return false else return true okay so this is the logic of my check function okay which is defined in the client class now let me go and call this function okay using that delegate so what i will do just before this is square again function that is uh, before squaring a number we will call this function okay the check function so i will just say utility dot check and you see the it expects a integer variable so i will pass my i which i have captured in previous line and i will pass a predicate uh, delegate uh, a method which resembles predicate delegate so which is the method it is check number okay so i will just pass my check number method here okay now so it will return something it will return either true or false so i will just say where check variable okay so this is the name of a variable which i am storing either true or false okay and then i will give a condition so i will say if check var dot equals say false so if my check var is false console dot write line number should be greater than 9 okay so this is the logic here and then i need to uh, come out of the uh, program execution so before that i will just write console dot read so that user can read the message and then i will just say return so that my control comes out of the uh, control comes out of the program flow okay so this line won't be executed if my check var is false okay so very simple scenario i have just used this check function and i'm calling that check number function which was defined below via this delegate okay so let me try to run this now say please enter a number if i enter say 5 so it says number should be greater than 9 if i press enter again my program stops okay now let me try to run this thing again let me enter say 12 so 12 is greater than 10 it gives me 144 okay so this thing uh, i am achieving via predicate delegate so first i am using predicate delegate to check whether number is uh, smaller than 10 and then i am using this action delegate to print the square of that number onto the screen okay and this is what is mentioned in my slides also so i'll just say the action generic delegate we have seen the func generic delegate we have seen and the last point is specify the predicate generic delegate now why do do we really need these delegates the answer is yes in modern day development you will always find action predicate and and func delegates in action again and again okay it is very rare for you to make a custom delegate nowadays okay so action func and predicate are widely used in c sharp programs which are using dotnet framework uh, 4.0 and above okay so this is all about action func and predicate delegates so thank you so much guys for watching if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and please do subscribe to my channel also please like my page on fp thank you so very much